so where's the grace? Like, absolutely. Where, where's the grace at? Because we all know life happens on both sides of the aisle. It happens for men, happens for women. Let me put my hand away. Grace needs to be given on both sides. So, for example, I had a bad day. <laughs> and as my person, as my mate, as my friend, as my lover, as my husband, whatever the it's you are, you should be there for me and vice versa. Right. And so it's not necessarily saying now you, you given me the weight of the world that you experienced on me. It's like, be there for each other. So give me that grace. I'm going to need, I'm going to give you the grace that you need. And so don't necessarily throw out the baby with the bathwater, but I have a string of incidents, right? Um, that's not the that's problem. Asia. See, the problem is it, it be, it starts to become excuse making. Like it's it's always something, right? And then things almost stop and cease to exist. It's not these one offs. We're not talking about outliers. Yeah. Being tired or you had a terrible day mm -hmm. from the norm. That's what we need to address. Because I noticed um, we let you flip the question totally, and we got away from the question that's scrolling. So let me. Good job. We fell for this shit. So put me in the, put fucking, him in the bathroom. fucking bathroom. Get him out of here. But you know. Um, what's up, Q? Yeah, I kind of wanted to get back to the question. Um, because what it turned into was that men are uh very clear on what it is that they want, and women don't actually modern day successful women don't actually want what they are asking for. And I think that's bullshit. I think that the answer to that question is yes. I do think that modern and uh successful women want what they are asking for. I think somewhat to Sinead's point, it's how it's communicated. Um, but to just kind of throw that out there, like, and, and I want to say, create this narrative that sounds like men are uh, more forward. It, I think that's bullshit. I think, I think guys, a lot of time to, and I think maybe Sean was speaking to that, like the the lying and shit like that and not being honest. I think a lot of times men, men don't know what they want or actually don't want what they're asking for and <clears throat> are not very clear about that for those very reasons. I think a lot of times men function in fear, um, which kind of goes to the main topic a little bit, but I think men some sometimes function in fear, uh, fear of losing a woman, fear of not actually getting a woman that they want. And so they're not, uh, you know, really wanting what it is that they're asking for. I think it's the other way around, but yeah. My question to the answer, my um, answer to the question is yes. So mm -hmm. let me ask you this. I got a question for you, Q, and it stems mm -hmm. from that one. So if women want, successful women want what it is that they're asking for, or modern women, are they willing to do what it takes to attain that? Or do they feel like it should just be given to them? Well, I don't think that anybody should have to be putting in, how, how can I say this? I think you should be able to be who you are. And anytime that you have to change certain parts of yourself drastically in order to uh, keep something or have it, then it's forced at that point. So, but you don't think you have to make, if you're living a single life, you do need to make some mm -hmm. changes if you're going to live a uh, Married life or in a relationship, no? Changes for you or changes for them? It would probably be both. Right? Like, you can't I think continue once you start to change for people, you time. fucking your life up. Nah. So, you think, so you think, and I'm just trying to get clarity. So, you feel like the person who you are with, it should be like something where it's so natural to where there's not much change that needs to happen at all in order for y'all to be together, be in a relationship, be successful. If you're doing all of that, that to me is you're forcing something to happen with somebody. So single you and relationship you are the exact same person? For the most part, yeah. Hell no. See, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me get, uh, yeah, no. Well, as far, all right. So as far as what? Like you, let me get yeah. you. Like, if you're in a, like, I hold, don't on, Mary, hold on, hold on, let me. No, let, let, me no, let, let, let everybody land, because that was a big laugh. You mean as far as, like, fucking random people? That's just a given. If y'all talking about simple shit like that, 
I'm saying personality wise. Mm -hmm. No, I still think with personality wise, if you're with someone, um, the more you know them, they're going to bring out the best parts of you and the worst parts of you. And mm -hmm. when you see the worst parts of you, you those things need to change. And that's right. a being a but relationship. Do you but do you change it for them or do you change it for you? I mean, you're changing it so that the relationship can work. You're changing it for each other. But, but, in the, but ultimately, if the relationship doesn't work from those changes, who's, who benefits from that? If the, I think you both benefit from it. From it. If How, you're if seeing the worst together. part of you, because some things you don't even know, like you don't even know that these things are bad about yourself. So if this is the worst part of you and this person is saying, listen, I'm not dealing with this. So now if you want to be in that relationship with them, you're going to change that for you and for them. But in the end, who benefits the most if it doesn't work out? Yourself, if it's a good you. Yeah. you do. So but you really if, change it for yourself. So you really you're you're not the same yourself. person, though. You're not the same person single. Like I can be selfish as hell single, but if I'm in a relationship, I can't be selfish. Right. Right. All right. So, right. okay. All right. Yeah, How I mean, think about it, Q. Q if you make a positive change, if you make a positive change and it doesn't work out with that person, that change still remains positive. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you, right? you still benefit from it. Yeah. yeah. But were you but, really changing for it for them? Or but, for why, but, why, but why would you be changing that for somebody else? To not be selfish anymore? Well, that's, that's a, that how that works. But that has to be a natural part of your character. There are yeah, some that, who are not naturally should. selfish. There are some people well, who remember, are Isha care said, caregivers. Isha said they can bring out the best and the worst in you. So, so you right. can have traits that are dormant and then you can meet somebody and they can, and you know, what's it called? Ignite that. Expose yeah, those it. Yeah, relationship, yeah, relationship. Expose it or ignite, right? Yeah. Yeah. So isn't, isn't that feasible? No. You got to change that shit for you. You never met this anybody. Like, it's like it's the it's the it's the it's the equivalent of self love. When you have people that be like, "I love I love my partner this much," or "I love this person more than myself," use a fuck up. You should love you first because yeah. if you don't love you first, yeah. you can't do shit for nobody else. But if you don't pour into you, you don't take care of you. You can't do nothing for nobody else. But that statement same. doesn't that must that statement doesn't monopolize the conversation though. So if you do something. For the betterment of a relationship, right? And that person lets you know you have a flaw, and therefore you change it because of them, and that you benefit from said change. That's a real thing. Yeah. But if you start on that, and that is a part of your foundation, you could easily be manipulated to doing that for so many other things. Well, yeah, you're okay. You're right, but take the goalposts off them wheels that you got it on, and yeah. put it in the ground and stand somewhere. Yeah, change not. No. I'm gonna put it, we gonna all have to agree to disagree. Fuck that. If, you're single, if you're single and you're talking to a bunch of other people because you you might be want to take some people on a date. If you're single and dating, correct? When you mm -hmm. get in a relationship, are you still gonna be dating? No, because you found somebody. So are you changing that part of your single character as as far as dating, talking to other women nice, doing whatever it is you know to entertain the woman? You're not gonna do that when you have somebody. When you're but in a niggas do it all the time, Mary. That's for one and two. No, no I'm not. But I said that's yeah. a given, though. That's common sense shit. That that that's not speaking that's to character. What I'm saying. But well, to be able to attract a woman, you're. But that's a but that's a part. But that's a personal thing. That's I'm not the close rule. this one out. That's a personal <laughs> thing. Let me say niggas, one thing. Niggas here before still you close. fuck on bitches mm -hmm. and be whole married all the time. Oh, hold so on, wait, wait. We know. Hold on. We out.